Welcome. I'm so happy that you finally arrived. I won't say that I've been sitting here for a long time, but it's true. But you're here and that's all that matters. First things first, let me thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the help I've been receiving with the naming, the sharing, the likes. Uh, it's been really overwhelming the amount of attention that these paintings have been getting lately and I'm really, really happy. I don't want you to slow down on that though, so let's not go straight to the padding of the back. But I thought I'd explain myself a little bit more and and, and uh, give you guys a glimpse of where my head is at with, with these paintings and what I'm trying to achieve. I've decided that I want to try and create a new line of work and in the, in the process I want to try and improve my skills. I'd like to take a little bit of time during the course of each painting to try and get better and better, especially at being an airbrush artist. I always try to do as much as I can when it comes to freehand airbrushing. That means unsupported wrist, just keep it completely freehand. And it's, it's, it's probably one of the most difficult ways to airbrush, especially when you keep your distance, when you're trying to maintain your hand in the same place for long periods of time, blah, 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 blah. But the reality is that um, I have been working on a lot of paintings of late and trying to create quite a few different things. What I don't think I've shared is the scales of these paintings. Now, obviously this one behind me over here is quite large, but some of them are actually quite small. And the reason for that is I'm trying to get as clear, close and refined as possible. I think it's important for me to just try and hone everything, try and get better at it. And uh, this, is, this is a part of my new process. The idea behind sharing the naming process is quite simple. I get to interact with you guys, you guys get to link with me a little bit close on the paintings themselves. I get to hear your thoughts on what these, what the paintings actually mean. We both get to have a connected experience and I really enjoy it. I think that it's important to have those kind of things. And I really enjoy your interaction. Everything I'm doing at this point is going to be gearing towards an exhibition. I'm uncertain as to when it's going to happen, where it's going to happen, or how I'm actually going to fund it. But at this point, the way that I'm kind of gearing is that I would like to see how many interactive participants I get during the course of this campaign. And that will determine where it's going to be held. With that being said, let's get back into why we're here today. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about this painting behind me. It's going to be a part of my new element series. I haven't abandoned any of my others, but the element is a new one. I'm going to be choosing certain elements of the planet and I'm going to be creating portraits from them, utilizing as much organic material as I can. I want to have them as organic and as free-flowing as possible before I even start passing on identities to the paintings themselves. I put this one up two days ago for naming. I was very surprised by the response. I'm very, very, very surprised. There was one name that came up like straight away and I am sold on it. I'm actually just holding back a little bit to see if there's a contender. Anybody else comes forward with a better name. But right now I've already chosen the winner of the name for this one and I'm really quite excited about it. I won't tell you about it just yet. So hold your horses. I was planning to do more with it, but I am worried that by overworking it, I might destroy it. So I'm going to be leaving it as is for now. And if I change my mind at a later stage, I might add a few more elements into it. Thank you for joining me today. It's been an absolute pleasure. I'm not upset that you were late. I'm not. Don't think that. Don't think that. But next time be on time. It's been a blast. And there's a lot more to come. I look forward to seeing you guys in the near future. Nearer than you think. So chat soon. Be safe, be happy. Anything less, unacceptable.